Right, what we're going to do here is a quick demonstration of the addition of resistors in series and parallel. I have in front of you a multimeter set to measure resistance in kilo ohms and some variable resistance boxes. Right now I have them set up so the first variable resistance box is set to about 2 kilo ohms and the other one I have set to about one, but I'll verify that with the meter really quick. Do that. So that goes to about one. All right, so I have two kilo ohms and one kilo ohm. Now, uh, the first addition I wanted to demonstrate was the simple addition of two resistors in series. So to do that, I hook one terminal of one with terminal on the other and measure the resistance on the outer terminals here. And when I do that, you can see on the meter, we end up with three kilo ohms approximately. So it's simple addition. You, with resistors in series, you, you add the values and that gives you the resistance of the total. Now, in parallel, that's a slightly different setup. The way I'll do that is I'll arrange them like this, hook the red terminals together and hook the black terminals together. And that gives us a parallel combination. So um, current going through this can um, choose one of the two resistors to go through. And the way I measure the resistance of the combination is simply attach my meter here. And you can see the result is instead of getting three kilo ohms like we did in series, we get 0.66 or about two thirds. It's an interesting property of adding resistances in parallel. You always get a total resistance that is less than the smaller, smallest of the two resistors. And that's what we get here. The, the rule that you go over in class is the reciprocal of the total resistance is the sum of the reciprocals of the two resistors. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 is 3 halves. If you take the reciprocal of 3 halves, you get 2 thirds for a final answer. Uh, uh, an even simpler rule of thumb for certain parallel resistances is if you have two identical resistances in parallel, you'll get a total resistance of half. So if I, can, if I change this 2 ohm resistor to a 1 ohm resistor, so I have 1 and 1, my total is now a half, which is what we expect.